Hey there, YouTube. Uh, yeah, today got a lot of work done. Rolled the snowmobile around my place for an hour. Uh, turn, top speed was very good. It was only about 34 mile an hour, but it was also 43 degrees. So yeah, not very good for uh, making power and getting speed out of it. That and the clutch might be a little. Well, the clutch belt was a little worn. I couldn't get the uh, secondary clutch to uh, the clutch sheaves to separate, so I could put the new belt on. So. Yeah, kind of a, uh, that was a wash on that deal, so. Uh, got a battery from Greenworks, uh, very generously given to me. Uh, they like, must have liked what I did in the videos and my enthusiasm for the products, which are very good, by the way. They sent me a free 40 volt, 4 amp hour battery for my chainsaw with a charger. I mean, you know, that is not a cheap thing. You're looking at what? Uh, the four amp hour battery charger you're looking at like 120 100 you know 30 dollar range or something like that not a cheap thing to give away and you know really appreciate that and it it performed that battery did a lot of work today as you see in the video uh it took down seven trees got 13 firewood logs out of them and i still have charge left one light out of four so it is probably getting close one it's pr I probably would have been only uh, six trees, but one tree was uh, basically only got one fire wood, fire uh, wood stick out of it. So, and to talk to a logger, he uh, gave me a good bit of advice on the place, and uh, and watch the vi watch that segment. You know, that'll give you an idea of uh, what to look for too in a place when you're wanting to get logs into a, like a remote part of your property. So. Stay tuned and enjoy the show.
showing three bars out of four. And uh, the two amp hour battery would be almost ready to give up. So got another three trees to go. bar showing so I got these trees these three trees uh cut up in the logs the reason why I do that that way is so I can uh, haul them out later for processing this is just to get it done in a hurry get the trees cut this is running the battery so I don't I have a finite amount of uh, fuel but the four amp hour battery is doing really good uh, so I'll show you the rest of what I got done with that battery. It's still showing one one light out of four. I did uh, three trees in here. One tree only got one stick out of it. It's that short. That would be this one here. So if I had one more stick like these uh, two trees, uh, the battery would probably be dead. So I'm going to be able to get a start. On that one and a blogger stopped out here a subscriber L Dredsky thank you very much for coming out here happens to live only a few miles away from here so that's pretty cool said so, yeah take out the one tree that's right by the pickup truck and maybe a couple more over there another two or three trees and a log truck with a pup trailer easily get in here it says there, there is plenty of room to pull in here and get turned around plenty of room I'm looking ah huh. it's ice under there huh. must have been from the last thaw and uh, yeah, it, 
there's a lot of ice in here, a lot of low spots. But yeah, he said, you know, they could pull right up to the mill, unload there, back up into there, and just drive right out. Or they could uh, swing around there, pull up into there, back up to the mill. Or swing it wide, pull into there, and back up to the mill. Yeah, so there's no problem here. I thought it'd be a big uh, production deal, but, you know, of cutting up a lot of trees and stuff. Oh, I uh, identified these uh, tracks earlier. Um, they all pointed out to me that it has got to be one big buck coming through here, taking his time, dragging his feet. You know, just plunking along. An old buck with nothing else to do except drag his feet. So, and it figures there might have been a doe in here too because it almost looks like uh, the tracks are going side by side. Or he came or, or is, you know, two separate deer, but the one dragging their feet definitely is a big buck from what he was saying. Yeah, so back at it to finish up those trees. Well, the uh, battery is still showing one dot, and this is tree number seven where it's sitting. So, yeah, so I was surprised they're showing one dot when I went to do this tree. I figured it would die, and it hasn't yet. I got two more sticks out of that for firewood. That looks like it'd be good for a sawmill, but when you actually see it, there's so much curve in there that it, it, it just, it's just firewood. So, yeah, the uh, final thoughts on that 40 volt, 4 amp hour battery, definitely get that one. If you just get the chainsaw with the 4 amp hour battery, go that route. Don't bother getting the one with the 2 amp hour battery unless you're a little tight on money. But, and I got this bad particular battery for free from Greenworks, so that was, you know, even if I bought it myself, well, I have another one, I bought another one under Cyber Sale. But yeah, that, definitely go with the 4 amp hour, don't even bother with the 2 amp hour. You get so much cutting time. And you look at it, I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 sticks of wood for firewood. And another six over there. Uh, so, you know, 13 sticks of firewood, that's quite a bit. Well, I got more than enough firewood. I'm going to have to try to split it up and sell it. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, to go have some more fun time on the snowmobile. See you in the next video.